and a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video testing my new Nikonos 3. And in that video, we found out that it is decently functional, save for the lower shutter speeds. So I figured I'd uh, take it underwater as soon as possible. Unfortunately, the water conditions around here have been quite terrible, visibility-wise and swell-wise, for diving around and making photographs. But uh, this past weekend, I decided, sod it, <laughs> I'm gonna take it in anyway, even if the conditions are terrible, which they were. So we went to the beach with our friends Maddie and Jed. Though it wasn't really a beach so much as a, a misty scene on that day. And the water was absolutely freezing because the southeast had been blowing which makes uh, the water colder, but the visibility better generally. Unfortunately, in this case, there was a, a pretty intense swell, which killed the visibility anyway. But I braved the cold water and put my bits and bobs on and uh, made some photographs. <laughs> so cold that I pretty much went numb in all my extremities instantly when I got into it. I think it was around 9 degrees Celsius. And my wetsuit, which is actually my dad's old wetsuit, it's like 30 years old at this point. I remember being like 4 years old and seeing him put it on and uh, thinking, wow, one day I want a wetsuit like that. So the fact that I get to wear it now is quite cool since he found it in a cupboard and uh, gave it to me. But in spite of it being a cool old wetsuit, it uh, does leak water more than a modern one probably would which I kind of like because it gives me a good feel for the ocean, you know? It's, it's, it's warm enough to not catch hypothermia, but uh, enough water gets in for you to really know what the water is feeling like around you. Anyway, besides the wetsuit, the camera worked well on the water, the seals all held, and the reason that I'm into these cameras ended up being a slight quirk. The Nikonoses, the old ones, the shutter actuation mechanism is attached to the film advance, so you push the film advance back and it fires the shutter, and then you just reset the film advance with that same lever, which I found really cool and is the reason I bought one in the first place. But when you're making photographs, the fact that you're holding the camera and pushing the shutter back like this can and did seem to make it so that it pushes the camera back and lifts the lens up and uh, sort of gives you a bit of an elevated perspective compared to what you thought your composition was. So I'll keep that in mind going forward. Also, with regards to the shutter speeds I was using on the water there, the Nikonos one, two, and three don't have built-in meters, so I just guesstimated what my exposure would be and went with uh, 250 at f8 as a guesstimate, which I was aiming for slightly over with that just because I'd rather have it be slightly over and know that I'm getting a vaguely sharp image than have like a sharper exposure with like a stop-down aperture and not have a good exposure. I also shot the 28 millimeter lens that I have for the Nikonos uh, for the first time and the aspect ratio was not as wide as I expected it to be. It comes with an external viewfinder that I forgot at home uh, on the day, but I looked through the viewfinder to get an idea of how wide the lens would be, and the instructions don't really seem to add up to what the viewfinder is actually showing you. But that's an issue for another day. The 28mm is also an underwater-only lens, so you'll see in the above land pictures that things aren't in focus and there's crazy vignettes. And there was another issue with the camera on one of the frames where it seems like the shutter was slow, so half of the frame didn't get exposed but there were a decent amount of good pictures that came out of it anyway.
overall, I really like the Nikonos 3 as a camera, especially because uh, it's a lot cheaper than my Nikonos 5, which I don't want to flood, so I'm just going to use this going forward for a while, I think. It was also a nice day at the beach with Maddie and Jed. We uh, froze a little bit, me slightly more than them because they were in the water for maybe five minutes before they decided to sod this, and fair enough because they didn't have boots or hoods, and I was in the water for like 40 minutes, and when I got out I couldn't talk because my lips are so cold. But overall, it was a fun time, and I made some photographs that I quite enjoy. The fact that the visibility wasn't good was a bit of a bummer, and next time, hopefully, I'll have better visibility. And slightly more weight on my weight belt, because when I'm at the surface, I don't have, like, enough neutral buoyancy going on to be able to get underwater comfortably. Anyway, here's a, a quick sequence of some of the scenes that took place on the beach, and then... Uh Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to my Buy Me A Coffee members, as always, for helping keep the channel going. And I'll see you next week. Or possibly not, actually. I've got some really cool things in the works, trips to exotic places that might impact uh, the potential for a video, but next week should be fine. Some point after that in March, things might get slightly dicey. But I'll see you soon.